This demo will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory and start using it in less than one minute. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository manager. It fully supports software packages created by any language or technology. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. Let's start the Artifactory Pro standalone version download. This page is powered by JFrog Bintray, a modern feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use Bintray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. After the download is finished, we'll extract the downloaded file. Now let's set up Artifactory. First, just run the artifactory.bat file or the artifactory.sh file that's under the bin directory, and go. There are more ways to install and run Artifactory, RPM, Debian, Mac Homebrew, Docker Container, and more. Now that Artifactory is up and running, let's quickly set up the required configuration for our use. We'll open the browser to the default Artifactory homepage. When first launched, the Artifactory setup wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the setup process. Everything in the setup wizard can also be configured later on. The first step is to provide the license key. Simply paste it here. This can be either your trial or the permanent license. We will skip the password change and keep the original one. We will also skip the proxy configuration. This is used for advanced internet configuration and can be revised later on if necessary. Now we can choose which type of repositories we would like to set up. As a universal repository manager, Artifactory supports a great list of technologies out of the box. We will choose Maven, and done. The setup wizard creates five Maven repositories in Artifactory, representing best practices in artifact management for Maven projects. Two local repositories for snapshots and releases where you can publish your own Maven artifacts. A remote repository, which is useful for caching Maven dependencies from remote repositories. We will proxy JCenter, the biggest repository of Java components in the world, hosted by JFrog Bintray. And finally, a pair of virtual repositories, one that aggregates release-only repositories, JCenter and libs-release local, and is called libs-release. Another one that aggregates both local releases, JCenter and local snapshots, and is called libs-snapshots. Those virtual repositories simplify the Maven configurations as we see in a minute. Let's explore the Shiny user interface. You can see the list of repositories we have just created, including useful information at your fingertips. Now it's time to configure the Maven client to work with Artifactory. For setting up your tools to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. The pop-up window gives you all the instructions and valuable configuration snippets. It is context sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. We'll use the Set Me Up screen of lib snapshot local because we plan to deploy to this repository. First, let's enter the password here so that our settings.xml file will be pre-populated with the credentials of Artifactory. Now we can generate the default Maven settings file for use by our build process. As you can see, the resolution of releases and snapshots is pre-selected to use our virtual repositories. That guarantees that we will retrieve all the libraries from Artifactory. We'll download the script and save it to the .m2 directory. Maven is now configured to resolve dependencies from Artifactory. In order to configure a Maven project to deploy artifacts to Artifactory, we need to edit the project palm file. We will use the Maven example project from JFrog Dev Project Examples GitHub repository. This repository has plenty of examples of different dependency managers and build tools working with JFrog Artifactory. To obtain the deployment snippet, We'll turn back to the Set Me Up screen. Here we can find the snippet of a palm file, which configures a Maven project to deploy the build artifacts to Artifactory. All we need to do now is a copy paste the snippet into the palm XML file. Now let's run the build and see how Maven uses the newly installed Artifactory to resolve all the dependencies and to store the created artifacts. Notice how all the artifacts are being downloaded from your Artifactory server. Also notice how Maven deploys the artifacts to Artifactory. Let's see how it looks in Artifactory. We will navigate to the Artifacts browser, expand the JCenter cache repo, and hey, here are all the dependencies that we just used in our build cached in Artifactory. Looking in the lib snapshot local repository, 
we can see the newly created artifacts deployed to Artifactory as well. You can use Artifactory to work with any build technology like Maven, Gradle, Ivy, Conan, and Ant. And also manage your artifacts for all your technologies, just to name a few, Java, Docker, Debian, Nougat, Ruby Gems, NPM, and many more. Artifactory also offers tight integration with Jenkins, Hudson, TeamCity, Bamboo, or any other CI server. This concludes our introductory one-minute Artifactory setup. You're welcome to visit our user guide to discover more features and our YouTube channel for additional screencasts.